Hi, my name is Sammy, aka Four String Boy, and this is the Flight Iris Baritone. Hello there. Now, this is the third time you will have seen me review a Flight Iris ukulele. Um, I've already put the concert size and the tenor size, and now we finally have the big lady, which is the baritone size. Flight released the original Iris in concert size in December last year, kind of January this year. And then a few weeks back, they announced that they were releasing a tenor size and a baritone size. Now there's not that much difference between the three. If you already watched my review on the tenor, that you're already aware of the differences between the concert and the tenor. And I'll be talking about that with the baritone too. First off, if you're not familiar with baritone ukuleles, uh, the biggest difference is that they are tuned D, G, B, E. So we have basically everything is tuned much lower and very traditionally we have two wound strings. So it's not like your typical re-entrant ukulele with a high G. This is much more like a low G ukulele tuned down massively and then ballooned up in size. Or you can kind of look at it as the top four strings on the guitar with the bottom two cut off and everything else shrunk a little bit. Now, I do play quite a lot of baritone ukulele. Um, on my album that I've just released, there's at least four tracks, or five, count Sammy, that are baritone only. So actually, this was the size I was massively most excited by. And not just because it's quite a drastic emo looking baritone, but you just don't find baritones at this kind of price point that aren't going to be terrible. So I really wanted to get my hands on this and to see if how the hell this could be anywhere near as good as the tenor and the concert size, but still retain the same price. Right, let's get into the specs and then I'll talk about my thoughts over the last couple of weeks with this kid. Just before we get into this, Sammy keeps saying that the Iris has a solid cedar top, it has a solid spruce top. Spruce, not cedar. I've got cedar on the brain, unfortunately and then the rest of the body is a laminate mahogany. This is all done in a matte finish. Uh, the, I'm a big fan of the black and blue, but it is a massive fingerprint magnet, just like all the others. The body shape is a very typical flight baritone shape, which I was very happy about. And basically that means it's got a real big body and a real kind of big curved end. So the low end really, really, really sings out these baritones. And that's how I think a baritone should sound. Across the rest of the uke, uh, the specs are pretty much the same as the tenor. We're gonna have the same rosewood neck with 19 frets with the fret markers positioned to the side. We also have the same 38 mil nut width. And again, this is a very, very, very nice, comfortable size on a baritone. We have that glossy slotted headstock with the De Young tuners. Um, I, I said in my tenor review, the tuners have been fantastic on my iris concert that i've used over the years so i'm fully confident in these tuners the strings that come in it i have no idea what they are on flight's website it says japanese carbon fiber but uh, from experience these seem to be the same strings that are on the uh, flight aurora and the flight fireball baritone i've played all three and they seems to my feeling and memory to have the same strings as all of these kids and just like the tenor and the concert we get this same kind of denim blue uh flight gig bag it's it's a little thin but it works out absolutely fine i'd want to put it in something a bit more protective so that's all the specs of the flight iris baritone very 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 the same as the Flight Iris Tenor, and there's just a couple of differences from the concert, mainly being that nut width, and on the Tenor and Baritone, we get this added strap button right there, which you don't get on the concert. Now, all of this totals for Flight's retail price, which they recommend of 175 euros. Now, that's roughly, I think, 15 or 20 euros more than the tenor. So Flight releasing a, a baritone ukulele this cheap was, again, got me really excited because when I was first looking for baritones, I couldn't find anything at that price point that wasn't terrible. And so I ended up with a Flight Aurora, which retails more at 400 euros. So I spent a couple of weeks playing this kit alongside the tenor model as well, just to throw it in there. And basically my thoughts are pretty much the same as the tenor version. It has a ridiculously powerful, bright sound to it, considering it's such a cheap ukulele. 
But thankfully on the baritone, because we have this same body shape that the Aurora and the Fireball kind of follow, it retains a good deep low end for the sound. And so it doesn't sound like a floppy downtuned tenor. On flights baritones, they always have this bigger body. And like I said, especially this curve here, it makes the body very large. And so playing it, usually I'd play traditionally with like kind of an angle at this, but for the baritones, I always sit and play them on my lap, more like a guitar. But the body is quite a unique shape that actually you can kind of play in both positions and it feels comfortable. So whether you want to sit there more classically, like you play the rest of the ukuleles, or whether you want to sit it on your lap like a guitar, it, the body shape kind of allows you to do both. So let's put this thing through some sound samples. Flight very kindly sent me both the tenor and the baritone to borrow. So I'm keeping the original stock strings on it. Usually I'd put Eucologics on it, and for a baritone, I recommend a hard tension set. And then for the two wound strings, going for the smooth wound gold strings. And again, these are the same strings that come on the Aurora and the Fireball. Um, so they do absolute good job, but again, a pair of good, good strings like Eucologics on it, which is gonna make it sound much, much better. <laughs> And there we go. That's the Flight Iris Baritone through Sammy's little rigorous testing of a bit of fingerstyle, a bit of strumming, and there. Again, to me, it sounds very much like a baritone should. It's a very comfortable shape. And for the price point, it's a good, good baritone. And there's basically not too much money. So if you're somebody who's never played a baritone, but you kind of want to venture into it, this is a very, very, very good choice. Right, next, we're going to compare it to my only other Flight Baritone, which is a Flight Aurora. So the Flight Aurora also has a solid spruce top. Uh, it has laminate rosewood sides, but it's all done in a nice gloss. The price of the Flight Aurora is 400 euros. 
And there is a definite difference in both sound and quality of the uke. And that's not me dissing on the, uh, on the baritone iris here. This is a great uke for the money, but the Aurora is even more incredible ukulele for the money. But we are talking at more than double the price of this kid. Now, my Aurora is wearing the Eucologic strings that I talked about, hard tension, smooth round gold, and G and D. But I'm going to use the same settings, same mic to have a listen. Let's see what you think. And there we have it. That is the Iris Trio, the Iris family, uh, complete. That's absolutely it. So if you like the specs, and especially if you like the look of the Flight Iris, then you can get them in concert, tenor, and now baritone. Um, now that I've reviewed all three, it's uh, the tenor is still my favorite. I think that's because I play tenor the most, but it's that model sounds and feels just so good. And again, for the price point, it's a, it's a fantastic uke to pick up. I wish that when I was learning uke back then, that I would have had a nice attractive model that I could have picked up for that money. That said, this thing is, I think is going to have tough competition. If you're after a cheap baritone, then this is a perfect, perfect, perfect starting point. But if you've got a bit more money to spare, then the Flight Aurora is a fantastic choice. I adore that ukulele so much, and it's the baritone that is used on my album. I hope this review is helpful and you've enjoyed listening to me ramble on yet again about flight ukuleles. Thank you very much to Flight Ukulele for letting me borrow these two ukuleles. I massively appreciate it. And let me know in the comments which flight ukuleles you'd like to see me review next. Please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more flight ukulele reviews or if you just want to see me blasting out some covers. Until then, thanks for listening. Have a great day. Bye-bye.